house party. Yes, my new live 50-minute show. It lasts 50 times longer than your average Dutch heavyweight boxer. <laughs> <laughs> Frank asked me to say that. Uh, here we are in this wonderful old house. It really is a fantastic place uh, throughout the house party. I'll tell you more about the house and more about the village of Crinkley Bottom, which is where... <laughs> Where this house is set. It's a wonderful village. It's, um, it's set in the English countryside, somewhere between Chipping Sodbury and the Bronze Age. It's, um, <laughs> it's not a big place. The two signs that say, Welcome to Crinkley Bottom and You're Leaving Crinkley Bottom Behind are, in fact, back to back. <laughs> uh, the house, of course, is very, very old. In, in the bedroom upstairs, there's a bit of graffiti that says, Kilroy will be here any moment. <laughs> As we, as we go, as we, we haven't got time for that. As we go on, we'll meet different celebrities and personalities from the village of Crinkley Bottom, and I'm hoping that in a little while we'll meet Captain Anstruther. Now, he is known in the area as quite a romantic man. A couple of months ago, he gave his wife a pair of earrings made out of his gallstones. <laughs> I thought that was a romantic gesture. And he's a, bit, um, he's, he's a bit uptight at the moment, and he's got his wife very nervous, because it's her birthday on Thursday, and on Monday he's got a vasectomy, so... <laughs> The show, the show, the show, the show, the show is absolutely packed with all sorts of wondrous things. NTV has never been done on TV anywhere in the world, probably for a reason that we'll discover in the next 50 minutes or so. NTV is where everyone here at the house party might just come to your house. And throughout this series, we have the most sensational gotcha Oscars. Tonight, we've got one for Henry Cooper. I'll just show you the rubbish! Well, they all want to be stars here today, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! It really, I promise you... I promise you it's one of the finest gotcha Oscars ever. Will Henry keep his hands off me? All will be revealed. And we have a celebrity lyric game. We've never done it before. We have EastEnders against Birds of a Feather. And, of course, the house party will be nothing without the kids. Speaking back, Jenny O'Neill. Are you going to get married one day? I think so, because I got... three boyfriends. <laughs> three boyfriends. Three boyfriends? <laughs> Which one will you marry? Ben Piper. Why? Because he's older than me, and he's rich. <laughs> Mum and Dad are really in for it. Talking of money, you're watching. If you've got a phone, you could be in the money. I have a thousand pounds in five pound notes here. Oh, hello. You're vaguely familiar. This is the money box. Could we turn it on, please? The... <laughs> the... <laughs> the... <laughs> the thousand pounds in five pound notes go in here. <laughs> and some... Stop it. And somebody very famous will be, <laughs> will be going in there to try and grab a grand, possibly for you. All you have got to do is phone me now and tell me how many men do we have here at the house party whose first name is John? How many of the house party guests on this Saturday evening have John as their Christian name? Call me on 0898 404 505. 0898 404 505. All I want to know is your phone number and how many Johns do you think we got here. I'm going to put somebody very famous in the money box. They're going to grab five pound notes and you get to keep all the money they grab. Seems like a good deal. Grab a grand. Phone me right now. Henry Cooper and I got your Oscar in a while, but for the first time ever, a celebrity lyric game, East of Enders against Birds of a Feather. <laughs> In the blue corner, Linda Robson. Hello. Hello. How many months pregnant? Um, seven and a half. <laughs> Could add a bit of spice to the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does your, your daughter think of your present condition? Oh, she's really excited. She's eight years old. I keep telling her she's doing the night feeds. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't think there's anything strange about Mummy's tummy just getting bigger and bigger. No, no, she knows what's in there now, I think. It's moving about enough. Right, good. <laughs> Pauline Quirk, you had your TV debut, so I'm told, setting fire to things in Dixon and Dot Green. That's right, I was ten. Yeah? Mm. Why are we doing that then? 
because my mum loved my little sister more, and I thought <laughs> if I set fire to the ass and save my little sister, then she'd love me. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> did she? But don't make an arsonist of yourself tonight. <laughs> Over here, Susan Tully, Michelle Gale. Susan, hello. What a tough time you've had in Albert Square. She's been through quite a lot. Really. She has, isn't she? Is she any good at singing? I think you'll probably find out tonight. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Gale. I mean, Michelle, you're in trouble as well. And your oh, brother. My brother. Is it the... We're standing by him, aren't we? <laughs> what did for murder? We're standing by our man. It's likely to murder a few songs, actually. <laughs> Great word, Letitia Dean fell ill this morning. I understand it's nothing serious, but she's very poorly. So, Letitia, get well soon. Yes. Best wishes from yes. us all here. Yes. Okay. All and some will be relieved to know the game is incredibly simple. Various tunes will come your way. The moment you think you can join in and continue the lyrics, you hit your buzzers. There's 20 points available from the various songs. Get singing the moment. You think you can join in with this? Wake me up before you go, go, cos I'm not planning on going solo. Wake me up before you go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, well, the noise, the noise said you only got as far as eight. Oh. So we move on to number two. If you change your mind, yeah. I'm the first in line. Honey, I'm still free. <laughs> Take a chance on me. Take a chance if you need me, Their husbands have got criminal records, and I think that was a <laughs> criminal record. On from Abba, we go to number three. Are any time you're left any evening, any day, you'll find us all doing the Lambert Walk. Up to 33 now. 33 plays eight. I think age told there, didn't it? <laughs> 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 Here comes number four. <laughs> Their husbands are behind bars and they were a few bars behind. <laughs> oh, this one will go down a storm. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Number seven. I started singing bye bye, bye Miss you, America Fire. Showed my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. And good old boys are drinking whiskey. Oh, yeah. 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 against 65, and on we go. Off there because we're three playing two. <laughs> okay, well done. Thank you, ladies, very much indeed for playing along. Brilliant Thank stuff. You. Great. Well done. And in this series, we've got more and more stars joining that Golden Academy. Coming soon, a gotcha Oscar for Alan Freeman. <laughs> you've, been, you've been a disc jockey for so I long. have, I have been and. And Jean Boat's late. I'm on the Wogan Show. Will you let this man take me to the Wogan Show? Dennis Please. Taylor's got a fan. I can't concentrate properly because I keep thinking of Dennis Taylor, the snooker man, and everything. And DLT <laughs> is upset. Damn you are a dead man! Dave Lee Travis was seriously upset, and that will be coming up later. NTV. NTV is something new 
where everybody here is going to go to a house in Great Britain and the people there know nothing about it. So if you're watching me at this very moment, thank you for joining the house party. You might regret it. <laughs> it's been wonderful to see if it works. The money box. The money box. If you want to grab a grand, please call me on 0898 404 505. We want to know how many Johns there are here. And on calls received so far, people are going for numbers far too high. So there's a clue. Come down in your numbers. There could be someone famous in the money box grabbing a grand for you. Okay? I, I think that must be the front door. <laughs> <laughs> yes, can I, uh, can I help you? Well, I'm from the Crickly Green, uh, Crickly Green Constabulary, sir. Crickly Red Constabulary. Crickly Bottom. Crickly Bottom Constabulary. <laughs> I know someone down there. Anyway, yes, sir. Yeah. Just for a seat, sir. I mean, is that your car outside? Yes. Is it really? Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> sort of people come here <laughs> to the house party? Cynthia McGinn, are you, are you here with your, your daughter Charlotte? Cynthia, are you around? Ah, yes. Do please come and join me in the main hall at the Grand House. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for taking my, uh, my offer of you turning up to the house party. Hello, Cynthia. Lovely. Ah, good evening. Do you know why you're here, oh, Cynthia? I do, yes. Yes, you do. Charlotte, do you know why you're here? Yeah. Yes. Why are you here? Because Mum wrote a story about my dog. Sorry? Mum wrote a story about my dog. Yes. That's not why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> she, wrote, um, she wrote another story to me that goes roughly along the lines of Charlotte spends hours and hours caring for her crowning glory. <sighs> Her hairstyle costs us a fortune, mostly my own money, says Cynthia. She goes to the hairdressers and then the day later gets out the tongs, diffuser, dryer, etc., and totally changes her hairstyle. I've almost got ringing in my ears during my daughter's visits because the blow dryer is always going. Does this sound like you? Not at all, no. no? <laughs> yes? Yes. yes. <sighs> if Charlotte goes away, she often forgets her underwear. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay tonight, are you? Yeah. Good. <laughs> but, I mean, I could pop you in the money box and prove it. But... <laughs> <laughs> do you want to grab a grand? No, we can't do that so early in the series. But uh, she will never forget her vast array of hair appliances. Does this sound like you? Can you tell? Yeah, I think it looks as if you worry about your hair and you look absolutely attractive. But I think Cynthia is right that this can't be allowed to continue. <laughs> <laughs> it's very ornate this year, but you do, you do recognise it, don't you, Charlotte? Do please step inside. <laughs> I'm sorry you thought you were coming here to support your mother while she did a feature about a dog, but uh, <laughs> if you'd like to sit there, you spent five minutes in makeup. Oh, this will be a lot quicker. Now, <laughs> stand up, stand up, stand up. now I wouldn't like to think for a moment on this show uh, that we are in any way mean. I'm going to give you 20 seconds to make up your um, own excuse as to why it shouldn't happen, uh, Charlotte. What, what excuse have you got? Everybody at work's watching me. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a <laughs> Anything else? Anything else? You've got about uh, three, uh, two, uh, one. Oh, it's uh, home. <laughs> Would you like to get uh, next to the uh, box, please, Cynthia? Thank you very much.
Well, we had to find a different way of doing it this year, didn't we? <laughs> The house party goes on. We're going to meet the kids in a moment. In fact, we're going to meet Jenny O'Neill in Wait Till I Get You Home. She's putting her parents through absolute murder. Charlotte, thank you for a smile! the oldest part of the house for another meeting of the PTA, the Parents Torture Association. Will you please welcome <laughs> Patricia and Michael! <laughs> Good evening. Will you please make yourselves at home in this wonderful, wonderful part of the oldest part of the house. Patricia is Irish and ideally would like to have a child every nine months. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Yeah? What's the best part of the process, do you think? The labour. The labour? <laughs> What's your feeling in this? Oh, I like the initial stages. <laughs> no one <else>. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hi, Michael, this is. He's an analytical chemist, outgoing and a good dad, a black belt in karate. And you take little Jenny to karate as well? I do indeed, yes. I wish I'd known that before I met her. She could have turned quite nasty. You were in dire straits, Snow. <laughs> we have a, a wonderful blabbermouth radio for you, which... <laughs> and we did get very, very serious to start with. I said to her, where is heaven? I just thought, you know, we'd warm up with that question. Now, did she say, I don't know, because my mum puts everything away? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's somewhere people float around serenely all day with big smiles on their face. You know, a bit like an acid house party. <laughs> it's up there, straight up there. Or did she say something else? And it's the blabbermouth radio. It's straight up there. Straight up there. Straight. 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 <laughs> on the top of the air. <laughs> and who lives there? All the dead people. <laughs> what do they do all day? Sit down watching us. Are they watching us now? Yeah. What do you think they're thinking? Jenny's stupid to be on telly. <laughs> and why is that man sitting next to When I come down, I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> That really was just the beginning, right? You've taken us for one prize. We've got a lucky horseshoe for you. Uh, and I asked her, how does life start? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really was taking a risk there. What did she say? It starts with a tiny little egg. It'll start when my parents get off my back and give me my own door key. <laughs> Your parents go out and look under gooseberry bushes. Or was it another answer? Gooseberry bush. Gooseberry bush? You're hoping it's the good bush. <laughs> First it was a tiny little egg, then it grew up to a big egg, then it grew up to a massive egg, then I cracked open. <laughs> she still got the shell in. When she goes toward it, the shell comes out. Yeah. <laughs> Can't give you that because it was the little egg. But of course, uh, one thing led to another and I wanted to know how did she actually come into the world? My mum has to pull me out of her belly. She goes, <laughs> I don't trust it. Yes, they go, mm. <laughs> she <goes>, no. <laughs> yeah. Here comes its head. just said you don't believe it. Do you think she was putting that on for my benefit? No, sir. Yep, OK. Portable colour TV for you two. <laughs> What's the most horrible thing that has ever happened to your little girl? Now, did she say, well, the vicar sneezed at the Sunday school's picnic and his false teeth landed in my jelly. <laughs> my sister took a rude picture of me. <laughs> a boy kissed me. <laughs> Not likely after that little lot, was it? <laughs> or was it something else? Her sister taking a rude photograph of her. Oh, rude photo. It's up to you. 
We go for number two now. What's the most horrible thing you've ever seen? Well, the horrible thing, the horriblest thing that my sister has done to me is um, take a photo of me when I'm, when I'm <laughs> washing my bottom. <laughs> I'll you up. I didn't have the film process. You didn't have the film process? No. Why, were you on it as well? <laughs> well done. Colour TV yours. Now we come on to one of the great heirlooms here <laughs> in this fine, fine house. A gnome in shining armour could be yours. <laughs> so I wanted to get serious and I said to her, would you do an impression for me? Can you do any impressions? Did she say, I can do Derek Jameson talking to Roy Hattersley, but I need to put a raincoat on? <laughs> I can do a cornflake. <laughs> I could do Noel Edmonds, or I could do someone else. She could do someone else. Someone else? Someone else? Somebody else. And I can do an impression of you. That's <laughs> me doing what? Smoking. I don't smoke. I don't care. <laughs> Drinking and smoking. <laughs> it's not something you do, is it? No, sir. <laughs> Now's the opportunity to meet the lady herself, the great drama student, Jenny! <laughs> Hello. Hello. You look a bit more subdued. Do you think you're in trouble? Nope. <laughs> Why do you think you've got away with it? No. Is it because your mum's all soft? Yeah. Yeah, she'll forgive you anything. The yep. subject of a toy for Jenny came up. And Jenny? <laughs> Please. Thank you. Now, did she ask for a pocket television, a pocket calculator, a pocket <laughs> handkerchief, <laughs> or something cheaper? <laughs> <laughs> a pocket TV. A pocket TV? Yeah. How about that? They went for the TV and you said handkerchief, didn't you? <laughs> Do you know what those pocket TVs? Let's have one of them. Do you like this? I had this specially commissioned. It cost, cost a fortune. You see, it just catches the profile. I think it's it, 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 Ah! The Crinkly Bottom Gazette has appeared. I'll be able to check my football results now and see if I've got the pools win I've always wanted. I'm feeling lucky at the moment. Very lucky indeed. <laughs> ah. 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 Is that my usual? Yes, indeed, sir. So now to join over ice for the twist of lemon. <laughs> Shaken, sir, but not hurt. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'd like you to know, sir, that we have, in fact, got a cellar full of this stuff. Are we really? I think we ought to start keeping it in bottles, don't you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Slashing about in wellies every time one wants a drink is a trifle messy, sir. <laughs> this is, um, in case you wondered, this is Hal Green, who's been elevated to the position of butler here. He, he used to look after my clothes. Hal Green was my valet. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Very funny, sir. Very funny. <laughs> I must remember that. <laughs> there we are, sir. How long have you been with the great house, Hargreen? Very kind of to us, sir. In fact, I only found the original application for the job the other evening in the attic at home. Mm -hmm. I hadn't gone up there to look for it, but my wife and I, Sybil, had had a little bit of a tiff. A bit of name-calling had gone on. Oh. And I'd gone upstairs to look for my birth certificate. And... <laughs> 
there, in fact, was the original letter, sir. What, what was your first position here? Very kind of you to ask, sir. If you remember correctly, I was the lift boy on the dumb waiter, sir. Oh, <laughs> and then you were stable lad? Uh, yes, indeed. And then not so stable lad. Uh, <laughs> finally finished up at you bring Rex, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, and at one point in this magnificent house, I was proud to be the footman. <laughs> not a lot taller now, are you? <laughs> Very, very bright of you to have noticed, because I do, of course, come from diminutive stock, you know. Really? My grandfather was a sleeping car attendant on a Hornby train set. <laughs> One of the few people who'd ever been up a vacuum cleaner, sir. <laughs> 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 uh, do you approve of the changes beneath stairs? Sir, I'm more than thrilled. You've been most kind, most generous, uh, as always. Highly solicitous. And, um, and the news... <laughs> is, uh, I don't like you laughing at the staff like this. Uh, the, uh, the new sleeping bag, may I say, sir, is wondrous. Good. If I fold it correctly, you can hardly see the words, Best King Edwards. <laughs> now, come on, I mean, do I get the impression you rather resent the fact that uh, this is now my house? Oh, certainly not, sir, certainly not. Only a pleasure to be of service. In fact, your great uncle told me that he had these two nephews and was not sure, indeed, which house, uh, to which one to leave the house to oh, or yeah. which house to leave the one to. <laughs> <laughs> and because he, I remember it so clear. I remember it so clearly as if it was yesterday. He said he had one nephew who was very talented, attractive, charming uh, television personality. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. and another nephew who was a cowboy builder. <laughs> What do you charge for pebble dashing a house? <laughs> Actually, I'm a TV personality. Oh, sorry, sir. Pray. Forty-five quid if it's a fairly small house. Yes, indeed. So, uh, do you want to check uh, check the pulse? See if indeed, uh, very kind of you, sir. Very egalitarian. I'm, I'm not an expert at yeah. all. Uh, I, I have a system, though. I use the ages of everybody in the house. Indeed, so I say, do I? We all do below stairs. Use the same yes, same right. system, really. So um, mm -hmm. those are all right. Yes, sir. That one's good. That's that very one's good. good. Yes, that indeed. That one's good. Have oh a... look! Oh, I'd have got them all except for that one uh, there. My uh, age. Oh dear. If I put my real age down, I, I could have won an absolute fortune. <laughs> oh, how terribly that, sad, sir. There's only seven <laughs> drawers out, Green. Somebody could be an absolute <laughs> millionaire. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, indeed, sir. I will give you a second. Actually, water. Oh, water. I'll, I'll change right. my mind. I'll have some water. Yes, sir. There we are, sir. I, uh... Oh, no, water. <laughs> there we are, sir. Just a little Worcester sauce to add a little zest, I think. Give it a little... Uh, and, uh, perhaps a little roughage here. There we are, sir. <laughs> My pleasure, sir. There we are. All right. There we are. Well, Hal Green, I've got some good news for you. I yes, think we've been pretty successful. What do you mean, sir? We're in the money. I've saved 60p. Hi. How have you done this, sir? Well, you see, I had an omen about these pools. Oh, God. So I didn't actually send out coupons in. Oh, my God, sir. What do you mean? Strange reaction. is NTV. Now, I have often wondered, indeed, I'm sure that most people who appear in front of these uh, TV cameras have often wondered what goes on the other side. I mean, here, if I ask the house guests to all do that and put their hands on top of their heads, they do it immediately because they are highly cooperative people and they will just uh, do it because, well, they wouldn't be invited to the house. Really. <laughs> then, of course, if I ask them to do that, they do that as well because they're very happy to play along. Now, do people do that at home? What do people do at home while they're watching TV programmes? Radio Times a couple of weeks ago said people got up to all sorts of uh, things while they're watching TV programmes. NTV is our chance now to go to a house somewhere in the United Kingdom. I stress the people there know nothing about our visit. You're watching me. Thank you for being at the house party. Let's now go and meet the first ever stars of NTV. They're in Essex. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> that's Claire. And that's Tracy. Oh, right. Calm down. Calm Hello, down. Claire. <laughs> Hello, Trace. 
<laughs> no. Hello. Hello. I, I must underline, you know nothing about this, do you? No. no. By the way, what on earth is this terrible thing that your TV's on? Where did you get this table from? Where did you buy that? Huh? This thing under the t television, this oh, terrible okay. wooden thing, where do you buy it? Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and what about oh, the bar? Th this vase you've got on top <laughs> of your telly, what, what, what's that all about? My mum made that in a pottery class. Did she? Yeah. You got any food for us? You got anything that we can uh, talk about? I mean, what would you like to talk about now we've popped round to your place? Uh, we're going to appear on the Lyric Game. Yeah, you wanted to appear on the Lyric Game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you haven't dressed for us tonight, have you? <laughs> Yeah, that is very sloppy. The colour of that. What do you call that? Is that tangerine? It looks tangerine to me. That's gold. It's what? Gold. 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 Interesting size. You could cover a gold mine in that. <laughs> <laughs> who, you got, who you got in there? Now, what about entertainment? Claire, what about some entertainment? Because you are live on national television at this very moment. <laughs> could you entertain us? Um, we can sing the yeah. Angels of Yeah, you can entertain us. Look what I've got. Richest <laughs> man. TV. It was Claire in Brentwood in Essex who didn't know that NTV was coming to call. If you'd like me to call on you or a friend, set somebody up and we'll be round. I need to uh, have details. Send anything you've got on the person to room 3305, the BBC Television Centre, Wood Lane, London, W127RJ. And you, or certainly someone you nominate, could be a feature of NTV. There's a very interesting pub down in the village. On Tuesday nights, they have the happy hour. It's the List and Newt. And we had a good time. <laughs> this game has to be taken very seriously indeed because it involves two people who very shortly will be getting married. We call it the honeymoon game. Over here we've got Mary, who as you can see is deliriously happy at the prospect of getting married to Arthur over here, who is nearly as cheesed off as Mary. And how long have uh, you two been engaged? Yeah, we've just over a year. Just over a year. If you'd like to sit down, I'll explain exactly what you've got to do. If you'd like to um, find your way down there. As you can probably tell, we've now tied them up so they cannot use their hands to aid them with the game. The idea is that there are objects inside the bowl. And I don't just mean this absolutely delicious custard that we've got here, but somewhere in the custard is something uh, that you'll recognise and find very useful. The moment you find your object, we will whip in another bowl with something else. On your marks, <laughs> you're looking for a whistle. Go! <laughs>
great pub. Go down there. The List and Newt. Every Tuesday night, they get up to all those sort of games. Grab a grand. Thank you very much indeed for the calls. I asked the question, how many people here at the house this week have as their Christian name John? The computer is scrolling at the moment. You can see that. Thank you very much indeed to B. Miller, Mr. B. Allen, Bob Evans, Mel Hutchinson. Thank you for all phoning in. They're all the correct answers. They're on the computer. I've got the gear here that allows me to stop the scrolling and I will look away so that you don't think for a moment that I'm favouring anybody and I'm going to stop it there. It should highlight Veronica Whitehead. I've got another screen which actually tells me her phone number. Now obviously we do not want to give that out on the air because if she is successful in winning a thousand pounds we don't want every single person in London phoning her. My goodness, is that Veronica? Yes. You pick that up fast. <laughs> People will think this is fixed. Hello. <laughs> Veronica, how many did you say? Eight. Eight. Will the Johns here at the house party please stand up? Eight, you were a correct one. Well done, there they are. Eight standing up. Veronica, stay on the line, please. Stay with us. It's as simple as that. Veronica Whitehead could win a thousand pounds in just a few moments' time. Someone famous is going in the money box. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> the question that you might like to think about that could get you on next week's show is how many new entries will there be in the top 40 that Radio 1 will reveal tomorrow afternoon? The official Radio 1 FM chart. How many new entries will there be in the top 40? Do not phone now. I'll tell you when to phone, when the line is open, and it stays open for two hours. 0898 404 505. 0898 404 505. How many new entries do you think there will be in the top 40 tomorrow, and you could be on next week's show winning a thousand pounds. He's here, joining the Academy for a gotcha Oscar. Henry Cooper! <laughs> I'm all right now. You yeah. calm down a bit. <laughs> I thought I was fairly calm on the day. You actually. were. I you took were. it pretty good. I thought you got me on a good day. Yeah. yeah. I, th I thought, <laughs> considering the stress we put him under, the idea was that Henry was booked to do a golfing video for a golfing magazine. Uh, Keith Chegwin was there to help. He was playing it straight. Although, if you have a look at his face, he really has a major problem uh, not laughing. We had a very uncooperative sound engineer as well, and this is how Henry dealt with it. Victorian days of golf, and here. <laughs> Trend years ever, Henry <laughs> Cooper to play. Keith, how are you? I'm caddying for you today, Henry. Oh, well done. Me. Sorry, sorry. Um, you've got, um, got some metal or something in your pocket. I've got a hell of a sound. Is it mine? You, you know, it... Sorry. We wouldn't have heard then. Sure. Have you got yeah. any, any. Oh, what? Whoa. Right, right in the trees. <laughs> good, but look, all that swinging, you know, the swing, it was okay. I could put up with it while he was talking. But, um,. I've got a, as you swing, you know, <laughs> yeah. swing. Oh, close, wrestle. Yeah, well, <laughs> Sorry, um. It's the starch in the colour. <laughs> <laughs> this will be nitpicking because they're a little bit different from modern day clubs, these. Right. Okay. What was that noise? Sorry. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's Sorry, can we just go? Can we just go? Right, let's see. Get it's, uh, excuse me, it's done a bit. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Henry. Well, it wasn't a bad drive. What do you reckon, about 230 yards, sir? No, not quite that, I don't know. About, about 210, you know. So, now I've got to get a club now that's got to give me a bit of loft because you've got the river running in front of the green. Right. So I've got to loft it over that onto the green and stop it fairly quickly. So now what do you reckon? Wouldn't it be best to go that? sort of like drop it before the river? Or oh, no, 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 no. You've got to go for it. You've got to go for your shots. What do you reckon, the mashie? The old mashie. <laughs> <laughs> Stars here today, <laughs> Unbelievable! How's he coming? Is he allowed on this course? Yeah, but they've given permission to, to kill the vermin. Right? Matey, can you stand over there? Cause oh, we're right, I'm sorry, right? I had to do the rabbits. You had to do the rabbit? Okay. Well, can you do one over there? Like <laughs> <this? laughs> right. Is it all right? All right, keep your hat on. <laughs> Oh, so he's actually booked by the course? Well, they, they allow him to come over and, and kill all the vermin and, like, see, because we've got a load to see magpies. So you've had him on this course before? Oh, yeah, he's... Yeah, they give him... They give him... 
Hey, well, you don't work, he only comes now and again. I'm there. I say, it's the only second time I've ever seen him. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, I don't believe it. That's really that wasn't down the bad, hole, I think. Mean. I should have this one. I yeah. think I'll keep this. <laughs> Hey, oh, yeah. hey, we're filming, son, we're filming. Will you stand up? You're the greenkeeper, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, please, will you get... Start oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no. We're, we're working, we're doing the job of work. Do you want we're to come doing... back later? We'll see yeah. if we we'll patch you at the progress. I do a bit of coaching now. Yeah, well, I've got a coach. Arnold coaches me, and he knows a little bit more about it than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. They're all experts here today. <laughs> We've got the experts here today. Good Lord, I can't believe this. <coughs> yeah, yeah, of course we do. Here we go then. I bet we've done it as good as we have for some of Special for you, Henry. Yes. This is Henry Heaney. Henry, how are you? Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Would you like to explain what you've got in the box for him? What I have got here is I'm not quite sure how old it is. A golf ball once played by Harry Varden. Marvellous, oh which man. I bought for five thousand pounds. Yes. Five thousand pounds. Can I touch it? Please be very yes, please. Well, that is marvellous. That's a real, what they call the feathery, is it? Yeah, yes. marvellous. Unbelievable. And you want me to putt this to it? <laughs> well, I'm going to replace it with the ball there, and uh, I take this as a great compliment. Thank you very much for allowing me to do this. Right. There we are, Caddy. Would you like this to tend the pins, you, you Would you? Thank you. Let's settle it. Well, let's see if we can get this once in. What a marvel. A £5,000 ball may go in the hole. <laughs> oh, hey. what? Hey. Brilliant. Well, sir, I think you'd better put that... Where's that guy? Where's the ball? No, come on, you're just joking. No, I didn't. Well, the ball's gone. Now, come on, you're not Now, what's, what's happening there? This could be... This could be a con. I tell you. How do you mean? What do you mean? You... This is good. This is good. He's, he's, up to, he's up to the old lark here. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> Hello? Who's that speaking? Henry Cooper speaking here. Henry? Well, I don't. Know. There's been there's something gone on here. A ball's gone in the hole, and it's a, and it's a, a very expensive ball, and it's disappeared. So, uh, <laughs> whoa, that's what we're all saying. I putted it in, and now when we've gone to oh, it's gone. So it's well, it's no good. Look, we've all seen it. Here, don't let anyone leave the call because. <laughs> <laughs> it's an ear pun. What's the problem? The balls disappear from the hole. Who <laughs> put it in there? Who put it in there? I patted it in there. What's wrong with that? Now, where was that? That was in the hole. It wasn't. Is that the one? 
Like here, we one. use, here, that these is, three, they're all up. That doesn't look that much of a No, we bet all you crafting. Hang on. These three are all together, they're all together. They're all together, you're all together, you're a right little team, you villain. We've stood the free card trip with these three. Mr. Cooper, we think you've done very well. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Cooper, this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> I have never ever been the greatest fan of boxing. I have been your biggest fan for years, and that's why to carry that off with, with and so peacefully with everyone. You've, you've joined quite a lineup, Henry. Your own got your Oscar, Henry Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Veronica. Hello. Right. So, before you came to the house party, you had no idea that you could be £1,000 better off. There is £1,000 in £5 notes. It would please me enormously to send these straight round to your house in London. Which part of London are you in? East Dulwich. East Dulwich. If you win some money tonight, what would you spend it on? Well, I'd like to take my daughter to Disneyland and give some money to children in need. Lovely. I hope. <laughs> We do well for you. We've got a, we've got a man who's going to do the grabbing of chat. He's been in the news recently, if you believe the tabloid newspapers, because he's a bit short of a few bobs, so I think he's a great sport to come on. Eddie the Eagle Edwards! <laughs> Hello. I'm not going to you're going to jump. <laughs> now, you're not going to keep this money for yourself, are you? No, 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 no. Have a quick word with Veronica. Hello, Veronica. Hello. I'm going to try and grab as much as I can for you. Oh, right. yes, please. Good, -o. good, good. Right into the money box, if you would, right please, Edward. In you go. Take yeah, up your go. position. We close the door behind you. And can we start the action? Questions. Right. <laughs> Questions. You're quite right. <laughs> <laughs> If we weren't live, they'd edit that out, but we've got to <laughs> Veronica, you get 20 seconds for each of the questions that you get right. Who defeated boxer John Emmon this week? Frank Bruno. Correct, you got 20. Who were the two national presenters of last night's Children in Need? Terry Wogan. Uh, I can't remember. Did you? <laughs> Soup for. <laughs> Which country has offered Gary Lineker a lucrative football deal? Japan. Yes, you've got a whole minute of it going. And there goes a thousand pounds in the money box. You may play it now, Eddie. Go. <laughs> You better watch it next week because if you don't come to the house party, the house party might just come to you. Good night. Well done. <laughs>